Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to create multiple WordPress website on a VPS or a single WordPress website using Vulture VPS hosting and Cloud Panel. Earlier it was very difficult to host a WordPress website on a VPS. If you are not technical user, you have to rely very much on command line to manage your server. But with Cloud Panel, you get a easy to use graphic user interface based panel, which is completely free and optimized for high performing WordPress websites. So let's learn how to do it. The first thing you have to do is check the video description and you will find a link to uh, this Vulture website. Okay. And the advantage is you will get a hundred dollar credit if you sign up using my referral link and I will get a little commission which will help in creating this free tutorials. You can use the hundred dollar credit. I think that is valid for two weeks or so to test the various plans before start paying for your website and you can use this period to try uh, and you if you don't use it beyond the free credit then you don't have to pay anything extra you can see if this is this solution will work for your website or not okay it's very simple uh, just check the description link or the first comment and uh, from there go to this website vulture and here you will have to create your account first it's very simple just put your email address password and then click on create account after this you will have to provide some personal details and a payment method like a credit card debit card or paypal or something that is required most of the vps providers will uh, require a payment method uh, to ensure that you are not a bot or doing frauds or something like that okay so it's very simple so i will not uh, waste my time creating showing you the simple process after you have created your vulture account you have to log into the dashboard it's my.vulture.com and here you will see interface like this now you have to deploy a server you can do it from here or from the top right corner here click on deploy new server first thing you have to select a uh, shared cpu option because this cheaper dedicated one will be a lot very expensive then you have to select a location which is closest to your audience just for this tutorial is put singapore here and in operating system either use this one or the ubuntu one okay this is what uh, these two os are recommended by cloud panel then go to marketplace apps from here you can search for cloud panel if you cannot see it here uh, but it's, it's visible on the top uh, three options so we'll just select this from here okay this is the latest cloud panel too and uh, it will automatically select the different os but that's fine and then scroll down and if you uh, actually search for the cloud panel here so you will also get a option to select the different os so if you want you can also select this one but it will not really have a lot of difference so you can select this one also okay and from in the plans now you can use uh, if you have the free credits you can try multiple plans to see which will be best for your website requirements the cheapest plan is this regular cloud compute it starts at ten dollar per month but i would recommend you to just go with the high frequency one because you will get a lot more storage space and a very good performance just at uh, two dollar extra so you can select that or uh, you can also explore these options and see which one will be better for you just for this tutorial i will select the cheapest option because after this tutorial i will just delete this uh, website and from here i would uh, in additional feature i would uh, suggest you to enable this ipv6 it's free and uh, this auto backup feature so it's essential and if you want you can enable this okay for this tutorial i don't need this so i will just disable this okay. then scroll down and uh, we can select this options later in server host name you can uh, put a host name like cloud panel dot your domain okay you can also change the server lab label uh, it doesn't matter that much okay but later this uh, host name cannot be changed uh, you will have to reinstall the server so i would suggest you just uh, create a test website and see how it works and then you can create a final website and if you have free credits available then uh, you can experiment a lot okay now you can see the final price here and with uh, there will be some additional taxes based upon your location then click on deploy now now you can see it's that easy it just takes few clicks to select your os from the, and 
from the marketplace you can directly select the installer and that's why you should choose a uh, vulture if you are if you want to use a vps for your wordpress because cloud panel and vulture has good integration and uh, the installation process becomes automatic now this will take few minutes to for the installation to complete and then i will show you the next steps now you can see the status has changed to running i will just uh, click here usually even after this like it uh, sometimes takes a few minutes for the installation process complete if you click here it will show you that uh, uh, there may be some action running okay but we can test it now here you can also see other information about your server like ip address and uh, the specification and other login details but there's a very important thing first we should log in as quickly as possible this is the login url ip address with 8443 port okay so i will do that uh, very quickly now you will see a warning like this but it is safe to continue click on continue to site and if you have noticed that uh, for a few seconds it was not working and that's because the installation was still in progress and once it's complete uh, just try to keep refreshing it and uh, just give it a 30 seconds and the installation will be complete then you will see this warning click on proceed okay now it's very important to do this quickly because uh, there are bots who are trying to create accounts and uh, that's kind of stuff so it's very important to do this quickly now fill your details it's very simple and obvious so just and then click on create user account also make sure that you have saved the password now log in using the credentials we just created okay and now you can see the cloud panel dashboard it is that easy from here you can manage the settings to create a website just click on click add site and select create a wordpress website you have to put your domain name here For example i will select my domain name how to shop and you can buy this domain name from anywhere any domain registrar like godaddy namecheap cloud panel uh, cloudflare or uh, somewhere else if you want to know how where to purchase a domain just check the description or the pinned comment uh, i will put a link to uh, some registrars okay the most popular ones are usually namecheap and godaddy but uh, okay now put your site title you know, this password and everything i will just uh, copy this username and password in a notepad and i would recommend you to um, change this admin username you can also do it later but yeah and make sure that email is correct this uh, this details are uh, that will be used for your wordpress website click on next uh, sorry create now cloud panel has created your wordpress website it automatically installs wordpress and creates your account and everything and give you these details so you can just uh, select all and copy these details and uh, save it in somewhere safe okay and then um, we can go to we can find the wordpress login details from here let's go to back to sites click on manage now our website is ready and we can learn about the settings later but there is a major thing that we need to first figure that we have to point our domain to the server ip address because if you try to open this right now it will not work okay so, so to do that you have to go to the vulture dashboard here then go to network here go to dns and from here click on add domain now you have to add the same domain that you have used here then from the drop down you can select the uh, already running instance or you can manually also put the ip address okay the ip address would be available uh, here okay and then click on add now vulture will automatically create some of these records but i would suggest you to add a few more for that um, just open the dashboard in a new tab here and then go to the server instance we just created go to um, from here copy this ipv6 address also go back to the dashboard from here select um, this four times a and here select at the rate in data select copy the uh, paste the ip address ipv6 address we just uh, copy 
and uh, that's it and then click on this add record plus icon here okay so virtual has already created this ipv4 address and uh, c name record first i would recommend another one that is create c name and put here www dot and in data just put your domain name here and click on this plus icon so these are the essential dns records that every all every website will need so after that if you want to can add your dns record for email services or something else then also you can do that but this is essential services okay now we have to change the name servers so these are the name servers we will need to use okay ns1.vulture.com and ns2.vulture.com so for i'm using godaddy as my domain registrar i will show you how to do it with godaddy but i have created tutorials about namecheap godaddy google domains um google domains they have sold it but um, for namecheap you can also find tutorials or it's very simple to change the name server just um, you have to go to google and uh, search how to update name server with your domain registrar okay and uh, it's very easy to do it's not possible with cloudflare if you are using a domain with cloudflare then you have to create all these dns records manually with them okay so the name server feature is only available to the paid cloudflare user so that's something you should note and let's change the name server from godaddy from my godaddy account you can see this domain here so i will go to dns and go to name servers here and then click on change name servers and select i will use my own name servers go to vulture from here copy this and paste it here and again paste it here and change ns2 okay ns1.vulture.com and ns2.vulture.com click on save and then click on continue okay so you can see our request is in progress it will take some time to update the name server usually it is between 20 to 30 minutes sometime it can happen even quicker so now to check if the name server has been updated you have to go to my website again from here you will find this check dns records option this is my own free tool that i am providing for free um and i would recommend you to check it only the link from the my website because in future this can change but my website link will remain same now put your domain name here click uh, select ns then click on find you can see it's still showing the old record it has not been updated and select a record and see if it is pointing to the ip address we have uh, for our server from here or uh, which is available here okay let's go back here and uh, we can also check the ipv6 address you can see it is not finding anything okay so this process will take some time and uh, after that i will show you once i will i will show you the demo once once this is complete and if we go back to the cloud panel dashboard here this another important thing is creating the ssl certificate which is not available right now so for that you can see um, there is a self sign certificate available so it will show you warning okay now if you want to use a free let's encrypt certificate it's completely free that's another advantage of this uh, cloud panel uh, you get free ssl certificate so you have to select this option but it will only work once your dns starts uh, domain starts pointing to this ip address okay so wait for 20 30 minutes and then um, you can install the ssl certificate okay before that don't try to do it okay it's been few minutes and now you can see when i try to access my domain um it is showing me this ssl warning it is completely safe click on advance and continue to the domain you will see that the ssl certificate is not working but let's try to log in to our wordpress admin area go to the admin area from here and we will use the login detail that we saved in the notepad this was the password 
search for admin password and click on login okay so you can see we have logged into our wordpress dashboard and it is just like any not normal wordpress installation it is working it is fast and everything is smooth now we can take a look at the cloud panel dashboard and you can see from here you can go, can go to the sites and you will see all the sites if you want to add another wordpress website the process is same just click on add site and click on create a wordpress website and fill your domain details and, and click on create and that's how simple it is to create multiple wordpress website if you want to create another type of website like a php site a static html or something like this then you can also do that uh, this is the night mode from here you can uh, check out the settings the login details security settings you can enable two-factor authentication which i would recommend and you can go to dashboard from here you can see all the uh, analytic monitor monitoring stuff here and see if uh, the usage is within limits or you need to upgrade your server or something like that also from the admin area here you can create more user cloud panel dashboard users okay and you will see the events you can see all the instances running and uh, all the settings related to it and here is the backup setting so you can also upload a uh, configure from here to use cloud uh, services for backups and in security you can uh, i would suggest you just uh, don't uh, interfere with the security setting if you don't know how to how this works okay and there's the most important thing that's remaining is still the activating the ssl certificate for that you have to go here and we cannot do that until we see that the ip address is pointing to our uh, the new server okay so it will take some more time um, and, but it's very easy process i've already shown you so i will just uh, end the video here and if you need any help you can ask in the comment section and if you want you can also have access to file manager and security and everything that's required for your wordpress website so i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions or queries please post them in the comments and uh, thank you for watching this video see you next time